Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Saturday. How y'all doing? Welcome back to some more super chill, hard space shipbreaker, as I like to call it. Cozy space chop chop. I have to stretch for time for like two more minutes. I'm downloading a game in the background. But what a world we live in now. I'm downloading a video game at 35 megabytes per second while uploading, and I haven't dropped a single frame. The future is wild. Considering I grew up in, like, rural Alberta, and some of my earlier video game memories involve, like, playing Counter-Strike with a, uh, a 300 ping on dial-up internet, this is, this is really quite something. It's little things that you don't expect, right? The subtle things that mark the future. All right, where's my game launching? Hello? There, perfect. How y'all doing today, Twitch chat? Hope you're having a cozy weekend. Today's probably going to be a little bit on the shorter side. If you, you're a Loading Ready Run fan, tonight at 4 p.m., I've actually got another show. I'm going to be hosting Play It Forward, checking out a very, very cool and flashy game called Ghost Runner. I'll be streaming that tonight and tomorrow morning as well, so there's actually going to be no home stream tomorrow. I can maybe finally have another day that isn't a double. That's how it goes. Hey, Pills, thank you so much for 23 months. I almost got that diamond bean. All right. So, last time we played this game, we unlocked the Gecko-class ship. And things went kind of poorly. But... I want to take one again. Overnight I think that'll be very exciting. Right. Uh, Koo points out if you have Prime Gaming, uh, Ghost Runner is actually the free game this month. I didn't realize that uh, Prime Gaming had a like a free game thing. So what is it? There's Epic that does free games now. There's the um, Xbox Game Pass, which is another way to get free games. And I guess now it's Prime Gaming. I had no idea. All right. Any plot stuff? No. Did I explode last time? Uh, maybe. Maybe. There there might have been a, a tiny explosion or two, but that's why we are now confident in saying that no, the no explosion guarantee. As somebody who has previously exploded, uh, we have learned that explosions are extremely unprofitable. I have 5,000 upgrade points? Pardon? All right, what do we have here? Uh, two, okay, 800 upgrade the range. Ooh, heat capacity. I think this is a good one. What's that? Wow, and durability? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's upgrade our cutter. Because that seems mega important. So we have more range. We have more heat capacity. It seems very important. And more durability. That spent about half of our upgrades. I think the next thing I'd want then is oxygen. So this is going to increase our oxygen a fair amount, actually. All right, that leaves me with 400 points, which probably isn't enough to get anything, but let's check. Hey, what's up, Lena? Yeah, people here, big fan of oxygen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's up, gamers? Can we get some pogs for O2? <laughs> Alright, I cannot afford any other upgrades for $400 use. Whatever. See up and down if I should play beavers all day? Beaver all day sounds super chill. Go for it. You live your best life. All right. Let's hope for a gecko class ship today because that's what I want to do. Tanker, tanker, heavy cargo. No. All right. Maybe we just do like a little baby warm-up ship here because... Wait, is this a gecko? 
light cargo mackerel. No, I don't want to do a heavy tanker. Is this a gecko? No, it's another mackerel. Oh god, what did I... You ever hit the wrong button and not only lock in, but also confirm the wrong ship? I have no idea which ship I just clicked on. <laughs> All right. This is our warm-up, whatever it is. I hope it wasn't a big one. Oh, good. It was a big one. All right. Okay. Uh, welcome. Welcome to this one, I guess. Amazing. Hey, what's up, the man elite? How you doing, friend? Thank you so much for 37 months. Wait, did you not cut? Oh, God, you didn't cut. All right, let's use this laser here. You get used to it, I guess. Explosion sounds. Not on this channel, the man leak. Hello, collector drinking game, anyone? Oh, yeah, I love that game. I never win, but that's okay. One day we'll all have All right, let's start by disassembling the outer ring here. You haven't played this for the past couple days? Yeah, I've been, um... Turns out I've been really busy. So, I hadn't played Paper Magic. And, God. Easy. Since, probably before the pandemic. Because I went on a family vacation in late February before, you know, the events of March happened. And... We had a big Canadian Highlander event on the Loading Ready Run channel yesterday. And in order to prep for it, in order to, like, get my collection back up to speed and to get everything there, it probably took me easy 10 plus hours of work over the past couple weeks to get, like, my collection up. So we did a unified thing, so we had three decks. So between brewing... Building, buying, like placing online orders, uh, sleeving, and then registering the decks online for uh, for like the overlay for Paul. Ten, maybe twelve hours over the past week. Salvage secured. Account credit. It's paper <laughs> magic like Paper Mario, basically indistinguishable. Yes. All right. The next thing let's do is let's take off these uh, coolant tanks. Is there anything I need to worry about wood wise here? No, these are not attached to anything. Good. That means that I can just do this. I should just be able to do this. And trust that this is smart enough to figure itself out. And survey says. Kind of. <laughs> oh, oh. Good stuff. Played Paper Magic for the first time in years yesterday. Felt good. Heck yeah, friend. All right. Let's just go ahead and blast all of these now. Hello. Perfect. Perfect. Then we just have the three on top. Alright, the good news is I haven't forgotten how to do this in the past week. Got 
on there. You thought it said pog clamp? Yeah. What's the bad news? There is no bad news. Is there bad news? No. Life is good. Life is good. Good morning, Zed. How are you doing? Alright, how are we doing? Are you pressurized? You are pressurized. So, I think it's time to head inside now. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Normally when people say the good news is X, it's followed by the bad news? Oh. No, typically I preface that with, I got good news and I got bad news. But if I only have good news... All right, so this is open. How are these still pressurized? Where is the... All right, so I think what I'm going to do here is open this and just hang on for dear life. Aha! It is Saturday, yes. All right, how are we doing? Uh, that side is pressurized. This side is not. This is my next favorite thing to do. I like to go and take the nose off now. Let's grab some wires and stuff here real quick. Grab you too. Take that battery out real quick. What are you? Do I want you? No. Bonk. Eh. How goes space capitalism? You know, if you just ignore all of the major story tones of this game, it's just a really good chill time. <laughs> you know, I'm just... Just trying to make a, an honest buck after a hard day's work. Uh, let's just give this a little nudge. Perfect. You're sad this game isn't multiplayer. I mean, it would be kind of chill to chop chop with friends, but at the same time... Yeah, I could see how that is. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too worried. This game does a very good job of Supplies running low. All right, just heat that up a little there. Okay, you're going to take the whole cage with you, eh? Wait, hold on. How's that possible? All right, let's take off the bottom. We're going to go this way now. Valuable object processed. I mean, explosions would be hilarious in this game. Yeah, I'm just feeling like... Um, Explosive decompression. No, 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 you're right. This game would actually be totally sweet live with friends. Like. That'd be so funny. All right. That all came off as well. Great. Now, next thing I want to do. I'm going to use our last couple grapples here. And we want to take. Get my bearings right here. I want to do this. There. I want to do this to there. And I want to get me out of the way. Ah. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Tethers, check. A little bit more oxygen, check. And then we should have pulled that whole thing right off. Did we? Is it free? Oh, yeah. This is coming together swimmingly right now. All right, you go to your home. Then again, this is also the type of game that you could just, like, you could be in Discord and you and your friend could just be working on two different ships. 
and just chill and chat. Like, if you don't want the chaos portion, if you just want the chill portion. Honestly, a lot of a lot of the pandemic for me has been just hanging out passively in Discord with a bunch of people who are all just doing their own thing. You know what I mean? And you're like, what are you doing? You're like, I don't know, just whatever. Like, nice. It's also been weird that during a pandemic, we all haven't had like the same game that we're playing at the same time. But so it goes. Wait, that light being on means there's another battery in here somewhere. There it is. It's one of the best things, just like chilling, hanging out. Totally, Lena. All right, looks like a lot of these pieces are coming loose. Yeah, like you. You look like you're ready to go to your new home. See ya. Bye bye That means this whole nose piece is also loose. Wait, hold on. Let's send you first, because then this doesn't get all bumped, right? Look at that. Oh, isn't that so satisfying? That's incredibly satisfying. That means you get to go this way. Alright. Next thing's next. Let's go into the cockpit. Take you off. All right, great. Now. All right, which way is down? <laughs> clarification on the title here. How many explosions are being guaranteed? Well, it depends which one you're reading. If you're reading the uh, the title or the going live notification. I was very clever and I snuck a joke into both. Yeah, I believe the title is quite clear. Ooh, a data drive. Fine. Wait, uh, let's take this first. I even managed to sneak a Simpsons reference into there. Come on, I'm, I'm winning on all fronts as far as the internet is concerned. Wait, what got destroyed? What do you mean a $100,000 computer terminal got destroyed? Oh, my cu- Buckets. No! So I was under the impression that if it's already in this basket, it's safe. But apparently they can collide because I had $100,000 worth of things counted for. And then they just got smashed. Boo! All right. Well, that's a painful lesson. Hey, what's up, Triple? Thank you so much for 22 months, my friend. Thanks for all the support, friend. Well, that feels bad. All right, so this should be loose now. It is. All right. Go to your home. Man, I was doing so good. Then we had to smash two things. I smashed a $40,000 computer into a $100,000 thingy. Ugh. That is an oofa and a doofa. And I'm not here for either of it. All right, that whole thing should be loose now. Secured. Account credit applied. Oh. But it doesn't feel as bad as that computer. Okay, that's that's fair. A 
computer certainly is having a worse day. You win. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. All right, GG. That's day one. I'm watching a show called Planets. Watching that bolt just float around in space gives you panic. I don't know what Planets is. What's What show is that? <laughs> that means we almost hit one star until that happened. Hey, JS1813. Thank you very much for 38 months. Appreciate it. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%. So think of what it takes to hit 110% and aim for that. It's an anime about space garbage collectors. Yo, there was a really fun... There's a really fun Netflix movie. I think it was Korean. Basically, it started off about, like, uh, derelict ship collectors, and they get wrapped up in this whole plot. It was fantastic. Oh, God. Wait, was it literally called Shipbreaker, sweetie? Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't. I don't know. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It was amazing. How do I pronounce it? Planetes? Uh, how's my equipment doing? Nothing has to be upgraded here. All right, I mean, let's just keep going on this job. Wait, continue salvage. Good. Hey, look, my, uh, oh, are you going to turn on in time? What just happened? Hold on. Hello? Okay, I get, I still get paid for that. I was really worried for a second. Space Sweepers! Yes, thank you, Three Cats in a Trench Coat. I was absolutely talking about the movie Space Sweepers. Yeah, that movie was awesome. I really like Space Sweepers. We just kind of randomly found that on Netflix. Yeah, if you like, I don't know, if you like all the tones of the things that we're talking about and you're looking for like a super chill movie, I mean, maybe chill isn't the right word, a very good action movie, check out, uh, Check that out. Nope. Plan Etes? Plan Etes. Hmm. So what you're trying to tell me is it's a mystery. Nobody has any idea how that word is pronounced. Got it. Oh, I see you. Uh, hello? Wait. Salvage deposit accepted. I realize lights aren't worth it, especially when you smash them. <laughs> but I can't not take the lights, you know what I mean? Tethers are fine, I assure you. All right, well, now I'm going to start packing this like a moving truck. Oh, jeez. Never mind. Uh, all those things I just said about how gentle I was going to be, I take back. Salvage deposit accepted. 
Credits transferred. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. Salvage gains observed. Learning that I can take the entire wall off its probably the greatest moment of my life. You're fine, laser. Settle down. Settle down. Will the laser explode? Not on my watch. On somebody else's watch, it absolutely can. But again, when you're this good at video games, no. Never happening. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. What? Where did my 3,000 aluminum panels get destroyed from? Did I get in the wrong one? What happened here? Hmm, doesn't matter. Pipe? What do you mean, fuel pipe? Pardon? Who puts a fuel pipe in there? That's fine. That wasn't an explosion. That was... That may have been an explosion. Why is... I thought there was supposed to be a gravity that pulls things in there. It seems to be less safe? No. Everything is perfectly safe. A lot of worriers in chat. A lot of worriers. Gotta, I gotta say, appreciate it. But everything is under control. Alright, anything else in here? Or take these posters. They're just a little bit on fire, that's fine. I don't actually think they're worth anything. Pull this off the wall. Alright, good stuff. <clears throat> Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, so this, actually this should be loose now, question mark? Yes. All right, let's head here now. Wait, hold on, first things first. Seven minutes. Got it. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Wait, is this whole ship kind of at an angle? No tethers remaining. 
no tethers remaining. Okay, that's obviously very bad. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I bet you we could get the reactor right now. Thank you for your tethers restored. <clears throat> what say you, Twitch chat? Reactor time? Uh-oh. Why isn't this working? Well, this is obviously terrible news. Alright, um, here's what we do. We hold on, and uh, we just do a little cut here. Snagged you out of the air. Alright, and uh, look at that! Perfectly decompressed. Does that technically count as an explosion? Nah. 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 Nah, nah, nah. Technically, he's not going to get you anywhere here. Clearly, you didn't read the stream title. It says no explosions guaranteed. Nice try, though. Nice try. Alright. Careful. Careful. Gentle. You ever play that game Operation as a kid? Perfect. No, the thrusters don't start a meltdown. That's why I always remove the thruster first. If you don't disconnect the thruster first, you get a little bit of a new old explosion, which is bad. Yeah, the reactor meltdown starts when you cut the cooling line. So the order I like to do is thruster... Uh, take off the nose, like give myself some room to work with, and then, then cut the cooling lines, and then take the reactor out. So we do this, and we grab the whole nose here. Wait, maybe it's not disconnected. Should be able to reach there now. Is the nose disconnected? The nose should be disconnected. I should be able to do this. Did I miss something somewhere? No, it's moving. Okay. safely pull this out today. Alright, now people have been trying to tell me that I can actually take this whole casing off first without the reactor starting to go critical. And it would appear that they haven't lied to me. Oh. Well, very good chat. Process 
missing valuable object. Credits awarded. Oh, these are not worth my time. Okay, uh, I've got a minute and a half. Let's get this reactor. That was the cleanest reactor extraction we have ever done. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing exploded this time. Literally nothing exploded this time. We're learning. Normally we can't get it out without like this whole casing just kind of going up in flames. We're going to see the redemption arc from last night. We'll see. We'll see. We typically only plan lure content about a month in advance. So I don't think there's, uh, there's nothing on the radar currently. Yeah, as soon as you, as soon as you pull out all of the, the environmental control stuff, the reactor starts the meltdown. Hey, good morning, Funko. How you doing, friend? You're up late. Question mark. <laughs> New certification level attained. License level increased. Going to bed soonish? Heck yeah. Oh, it's good to see you, friend. Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Yeah, gotta love time zones like... Good to see you conscious, question mark. <gasps> ghost ship? Wait, hold on. I totally already had a ghost ship in a tutorial, I guess way too early. If I'm not supposed to hit ghost ships until level 16, why did I get this now? All right. Starting this week, you'll be receiving semi-regular shipments of ships found abandoned near the edges of the frontier. You may hear others refer to these as ghost ships. But please note, this is a colloquialism, and Lynx takes no responsibility for any non-corporeal entities encountered on the vessels. These ships have been gently used by previous crews before being discarded for reasons we are not legally required to ascertain. A reminder that all vessels, either previously Lynx-owned or otherwise, void their ownership rights if uninhabited for three days under stellar law. We have first salvage rights to uninhabited vessels... Please note, while a preliminary sweep of the ship has been done, revealing only minorly anomalous readings, a more in-depth assessment of any issues, terrestrial or otherwise, is the sole responsibility of the shipbreaker. Incredible. <clears throat> oh! And then we have the Heavy Cargo Gecko Station Hopper. Amazing. That's what I wanted to work on. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's finish this ship off. Cutter. Wait. Wanted to check in with Super you. fast. Let's do plot first. About how? Listen. <clears throat> Background where I grew up. You cross paths with all kinds of critters. Critters! Possums, coyotes, bears. And once in a while, you find yourself nose to nose with a bobcat. <laughs> A bobcat's uh, an unpredictable creature. A scared one's just as likely to fight tooth and nail as it is to scamper away. Now, Hal, Hal is terrified of not measuring up to the rest of us, of failing, of losing his status. And he's fixing for a fight, driven by that fear inside him. The thing is, Bobcat's just another animal. 
and how he's only human. You understand his fear. You can reason with him. So I'm working on taming our local wildcat. Now you stay strong and we'll be through this soon enough. I'll see you out there, Cutter. I have a question. Can coyotes, possums, and bears all exist in the same environment? All right. Um, yeah, it's worth it to get tier three on this. Get the 900 points. Yeah, okay. Because I have, I have coyotes and bears when I grew up in the prairies. But definitely didn't have possums. I thought that maybe like possums and coyotes would be uh, mutually exclusive California for sure. Oh, there's like a weird place where like there's an intersection of both possums and uh, coyotes. Fascinating. All right. Good to know. All right. Let's take this bad boy apart. Uh, all right. First things first. Cut. should be completely detached now. Survey say it is. Good. Cut. All three in Florida. No kidding. You have possums and coyotes in Texas. All right, all right. I have been, uh, I have been proven wrong. This is the first time it's ever happened, though. Never been proven wrong before. Okay, 400. So this panel should be separate now. No, this panel is separate now. What did I actually detach here? Hold on. Time out. <laughs> Okay. So I was hoping... What are you... How are you... How are you connected, first off? There? No. Like, what are you, what are you attached by? Is it this? There it is. I don't think this is worth. All of you be gone. Alright, now this should all be detached, so I should be able to do a little something like this. And just oh, I'm I lied, I'm wrong. Oh, it's gonna be way faster if I just use this tool. go and we hide inside. Object not accepted. 
All right, so when we burnt that whole thing, did we make more money or was that whole thing supposed to be blue, chat? Looks like my goal of throwing... What, what do you mean a $25,000 air filter? Oh, did I miss an air filter? Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, I made a goof. Turns out that whole chunk was not meant to be burnt. Got it. Perfect. Okay. All right, we goofed. Uh, we majorly goofed is what just happened there. And that happens. We take those. And then we learn. Alright, some pieces are coming loose now. That's fine. That's to be expected. Valuable majority of it was furnace? It doesn't feel like it, though, because if the majority of it was furnace... I mean, before we got the 57,000 there, you could see how much of what we, what we did was waste and how much was profit. And, like, none of that, none of that showed up as profit, right? Which is why I'm under the impression that um, that whole chunk, maybe maybe it got pulled into the wrong one en route or something. I don't know. But it, it felt like it wound up in the wrong hole. In the wrong bin. You know what I mean? Alright, airlock. So all of these should, in theory, come loose now. Yes! The theory proved correct. Just don't get pulled into the wrong one, please. Is this loose? No, this is not loose. This is not loose until this comes out. And we have previously struggled here. Just go outside with this highly valuable computer terminal. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Goodbye. Snagged you out of the air. That's those um gamer reflexes. Yeah. Credits deposited. Uh, ow. That was heckin' rude. Pringles and coffee, a reasonable breakfast. Breakfast to champions. Warning. Tethers depleted. Tethers depleted. Bad. Let's go get more of those. Oh, man. Speaking of great food, last night for dinner, Joe made Moco Locos. And the reason we had Moco Locos is we had the perfect combination of leftover ingredients. We had leftover rice from ordering curry. We had, um, we had leftover eggs. Well, not like leftover, but we just had like eggs in the fridge because, you know, sometimes you just have eggs in the fridge. 
And then we had gotten fried chicken the night before, so we had, like, gravy as well. I don't know. It was just perfect. So, yeah, we, uh, all we had to do was make hamburger buns. So we just made hamburgers, and we had Moco Locos last night. It was amazing. It's been a long time since I had a Moco Loco. Making homemade chicken noodle soup. Heck yeah. All right. Um, I need to take some things apart here. So this should... Oh, what? Why? Oh, that's not the... Oh, jeez. Uh, I was not expecting this to happen. Okay. Uh, neat. Alright. Three star. Get... Uh, air conditioning panel. Okay, so help me out, chat. Where can I cut from this? Because I don't think... Yeah, this doesn't just detach. I need to... Is it this panel? Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode? Don't explode? What? The pipe right behind it? Are you sure? Okay, okay. Bonk. So how do I disconnect this now? So this has been drained, so in theory I should be able to get this. No explosion? <gasps> no explosion. Nice! I've never actually been able to take this whole piece without it uh, breaking from the reactor. Nice! Okay, so that means this is all furnace garbage now? Oh my god, it is. Heck yeah, let's go. Okay, so what exploded? So the ECU needs to get in. Things that exploded. One, um, a whole chunk of this. All the red we have is because we had a whole chunk of ship that we sent for furnace and apparently... I don't know. Apparently we missed a bunch of stuff. Is that still not got into the basket yet? No, the ECU got registered. Okay. Did we make any other mistakes? Well, we smashed a computer in the green bin. Raw material process. Credits deposited. So altogether, I think it was a pretty clean disassembly, right? Upgrade. Just pick up tethers for tomorrow. Tethers restored. You think I forgot a, a comma in the stream title? No, no, no. Wait. What do you mean? Time out! What do you mean atmospheric regulator destroyed? Okay, that was a bug. That was a bug. There was nothing else. There was nothing else for that to collide with. Gunner, you should you should have seen my going live message. I made that I made that joke. Boo! Alright. Boo. Boo. <laughs> that last one was not on me. Boo. <laughs> good that was a good little 45 minute warm up ship. What do you think? Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Hey, Rook. Lots going on, huh? I hope you're doing okay. 
I've been checking in with the others, too. Everyone's pretty spooked right now. You know, I've been wondering if it'd be better for me to keep my head down. I'm tired. And I can't tell how much I'm risking my future or risking others. Sometimes it feels like nobody else is really on the same side. Like, I'm the only one trying. You tell him, Lou. Like, it might not be worth all the energy and risk. Anyway, <laughs> just my thoughts for today. <laughs> See you in the yard. <laughs> Lou out. All right, uh, we've taken two upgrades here that anytime we're in a pressurized environment, we can actually take the air out of it to supply, our, supply ourselves or sustain ourselves. That's good stuff. Lou, be strong, friend. You're doing your best. <clears throat> You're just trying to make a future for yourself and us. All right, we want a new ship now. Come on, Gecko. Gecko? Oh, ghost ship? Nope. Do I not get geckos anymore? Hold on. Time the heck out. Where are my geckos? Boo! <clears throat> it's either giving me mackerels or bust. Alright, you know what? Let's take this ghost ship. What could this possibly mean? Oh yeah, it's October, isn't it? Oh no. It was a dark and stormy night. Carter, this here's another one of them ghost ships. Same story as last time. Looks like the bots have been running the show. I'll be honest with you. They kind of give me the creeps. You All right, so it is pressurized. Weaver out. All right, so first things first, we cut the off outside off. I need to blast you though. Uh, hold on. If I need to blast you, that means I should pull this off first. Hey, what's up, Fluff? How you doing, friend? Thank you very much for 42 months. Wait, 10 months? And Chris with 42 months! Hey, right on, friends! A multiple of 10. Been 42 months, but I only started watching Surge last year. There's a, there's a horror movie plot for you right there. The subs were coming from inside the house. Ooh. Somebody set us up the ba bomb. Alright, so we've taken the outsides off there. Those ones we get from the inside, do you just yank right off? You do! Means there's probably one on this side as well. Hello? Okay, uh, there should be a couple of antennas on the top of the ship that I could also just yank off. That is a negative. All right, time... No, 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 no. Let's take the uh, the front bit off here, too. I like taking this grill off. Yeah, jump scare. Get out of here. One time I didn't take the grill off first, and then I was inside trying to take the ship off and it just wouldn't come apart and I got sad. Um, hello? Oh, the bank shot. That was actually all calculated there. All right, where is the way in? Hello. Where is the airlock? Here it is. Hello? 
Is there anybody home? There's any ghosts here, you have to tell me. <laughs> Housekeeping! Oh! Alright, so we're supposed to find and blast these. Why did it scream? All right, uh, we also got bad news in that that smashed. Did this door just close behind me? Oh, I hate that. It looks like I got it. It looks like I got it. All right, our first ghost ship. Why are things on fire now? Hold on, time out. I never agreed to this. No! All right, uh, something collided with something there. Boo! That wasn't an explosion, that was a coolant line. As everyone knows, explosions are hot, and that was cold. Therefore, ergo, anybody here appreciate Latin? Ergo, that was not an explosion. Why? Why won't any of these floor panels come off? That one came off. Are they all attached to each other? Oh, look, the reactor. I mean, it'd be rude if I didn't, right? All right, GG. Actually, something that would make my life a lot easier. Oh, I see. Okay, wait, no, I don't see. I have no idea why the floor didn't want to come off. Like, you should just come loose now, right? Any cargo attached to you? Done, great. Uh, hello? Alright, let's hit the ceiling now. I know I can tether things together. Yeah, I don't have a lot of practice with that, though. 
One of these days I'll figure it out. Wait, soft crate destroyed? Why? What are... What's destroying my precious cargo? How dare you? these electrical noises they sound very scary hey mb pro what's up friend no things are just continuing to be destroyed here and i hate it thank you for 13 months Oh, I haven't unplugged the batteries and I'm ripping out. I understand. I understand. All right. Um, where is the access to that? Maybe it's through here? No. Whatever. It'll, it'll stop itself. Right? Eventually? Kind of cool that that electrical system is just going to keep on going like that. So at the end of the day, this ship is not worth a tremendous amount of uh, anything. It's just kind of neat to do a ghost ship. So I'm not too, too worried. I really just want a gecko. Alright, can I get access into the side there yet? Everything is just going up in flames, eh? Alright, well... Which case, let's let's start trying to rip these out and save them. Oh, there's a battery right there. I can see it. Whatever. Oh my god, why are there so many batteries on this ship? Oh, hello? Hello? What? The AIs are dead. What was that nonsense? Hello? No, no, no. No, no, no. Are the AIs not all dead? this that was heckin rude wasn't it all right now where are the large science wings they're like right here, right? Yeah. So let's take care of that next. Hold on. Please let me out. Good, 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 good.
Very good. Okay, now I should be able to pull all of these batteries out. Hello? There they are. There's some weird auto aim thing that's going on right now. Do you see my mouse sort of like jerking around a bit? It's a little tricky. Final minute. Let's just start cutting here. Is the ghost guiding my hand? Oh, no. Yeah, what's the laser cutter equivalent of a Ouija board? Is, uh, maybe that's what's happening to us right now. stuff. That was a, ugh, pardon me. That was not a bad day. Oh, I need to buy more repair kits, <clears throat> but whatever. We're fine. We're fine for today, but next time we go to the shop, I need to top up on repair kits. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Made good money. Make your time count. Thank you. Thank you, game. I do like this ship. It's like so similar to the starting one, but they just add so many layers of complexity to it to keep you on your toes. No room for complacency, eh, chat? Hey, what's up, Dragonflare? Thank you so much for 14 months in that prime. Hazard level eight. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so now that we've completely disassembled this side, we should be able to very easily get in. Oh, this is my favorite part, by the way. When you just get to grab these sections and just start like... Wait, hold on. Let's pull out all the high-value battery chunks for... Ah, nah, screw it. <laughs> I was like, let's carefully take it apart one piece at a time. Or go with me on this journey... Uh, yeet. <laughs> yeah, what is... Is my mouse broken? Like, what's happening here? You can get a good look at the overall debt. It's down to 1.7 billion. It's not 1. Or, pardon me, it's down to 1.1 billion. It started at one and a quarter billion, so... I need to turn off this auto-aim. What is happening right now? Um, turn screen shake off. How did you get $1.25 billion in debt? I accepted the job. All right, I might need to do a little reset after this because something is wonky with the mouse. You could see like, we're gonna, we're gonna suffer through today, but Something is trying to be very handy here, and it's uh, it's not. Your 
That's all I have to say about that. Oh, wait a second. See that sneaky little AI that was attached to it there? Because I almost didn't. The mouse thing is a known issue? Oh, okay, okay. So my mouse isn't broken, it's the game, huh? The problem is we started the day, and then once a day has been started, you, uh, you can't, like, leave halfway through, right? So this is, this is fine. We'll, we'll make do. Apologize to anybody if you get motion sickness from this. Alright, what's happening at the back of the ship here? Everything is cut. Dropping. What is still attached here? You're still attached. You're still attached. This should be loose. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Yeah, good stuff. should be loose now, right? Sure is! Oh, I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. Also means the roof should be loose. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Uh, hello? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. I won't let you go! Caution. Fight! Oh, you can't fight. Okay, you're just dead. Well, that sucks. You ever have a huge chunk... Oh my god. A huge chunk of the ship just get pulled completely in the wrong direction? Same. Same, though. What's the fix for the mouse thing, chat? Is it just a reset? I imagine that'd be all it takes. Yeah, just restart the game? Okay, cool. And I am correct in thinking that I, I do need to finish the day. Right? Perfect. Salvage secured. 
Yeah, definitely having ourselves a good little uh, electrical short time here, aren't we? You lose whatever's left of the ship when you restart? Oh, ah, whatever. So what you're saying is I just gotta go fast. We already hit two stars. That's fine-ish. What? What the heck was pressurized there? That doesn't even make sense. Hold on, time out. Air pressure level. Oh, do you think that was the AI messing with me? Oh. Tethers remaining. Okay, that's bad. Got six minutes? I think we can still three classes, chat. Three classes, not the word I was looking for. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Node destroyed. Oh no, I'm stuck. Do the items you collect count as salvage? No, those are going into our special side project. We're stealing from the company. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, that's uh, that's for us. We have a little side project where we're working on our car, and by car I of course mean uh, Air pressure level decreasing. we have like a little fixer-upper uh, space motorcycle that we're working on. It's kind of a midlife crisis thing. All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left of this shift before they turn the lights out on you. Peter Patter, we wrap. What are, what are you still attached to here? How are, how are you possibly still attached? To what? To whomst? Oh, you're no longer attached. Okay. Back things should be detached now. Uh, yeah. Valuable 
project process. Credits awarded. Air pressure level increasing. Stupid AI again? No! No! Cutter 9346-52. Your vital signs have been lost. Please reboot your monitor. The AI! The AI repressurized the cockpit. So we had... We had turned that off. The AI repressurized it so that when I went to open it up, it violently decompressed me into the furnace. Well played, AI. Well played. That's super funny. That's... Mm. Oh, I got got. I got mega got. Can't help but notice there's uh, no ship there anymore. Did the AI just take it in peace? Anyone else notice a complete... Oh, everything exploded. Literally everything exploded. All right. Good. GG. GG. The whole thing exploded. We got murdered! That's so funny. That's so good. Maybe the decom... Oh my god! The decompression acted like a thruster and it just yeeted itself. Yeah! Wow! Amazing. Well, that was an experience. Good morning, Cutter 9000. As I said, no. Explosions guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regeneration fee, $150,000 reduce. That's an oof. What's this? Oh, new sticker unlocked? Sure. Well, let's go repair everything for starters. Thanks, Nurge. Yeah, excellent, excellent commentary on my mo re most recent failure. Way to rub the salt in there, friend. All right, uh, we're going to be starting a new ship here. Thank you very much, and it's going to be a gecko. Hey! All right, uh, this. Oh yeah, which one do we want? This one's worth fourteen million dollar reduce. Let's do it. These things are enormous, and they're so cool. Oh, right. I have to restart to fix my mouse. Good call. Um, let's go ahead and save and quit. Thank you, chat. All right, shipbreaker. As soon as you tell me you've stopped playing, we'll hop right into it. Very good. What badge is behind my head? We got Child's Play Charity Online 2020 and uh, PAX South. I think that was the last con I went to. Also 2020. I really hope that gecko is still there. I'll be sad if we finally rolled the ship we wanted. And then the game was like, nope.
just reboot till it's back? That takes a really long time. Full reboot cycle is like two minutes. I don't have that kind of time. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Did I have repair all my tools? I just want to see if it saved my repair there. Survey says it did. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Lirazel! Yo, thank you so much for five gift subs, friends. Very generous. Welcome to Acromonk F. Than Wait, F. Tan Theta, Alnus, Nurse Flynn, and Astra. Thank you so much. Okay, good, good, good. Literally the same selection. Uh, we're going to be taking the Royal Dion Maru here. What are the categories? Yeah, there's three. Uh, there's the green basket for high value things. There's the blue basket for high value materials. And there's the red basket for incinerate it. All right, it's time. So, as always, we, we start the day by floating around the outside and just ripping off all of the high value components. Nope, that was wrong. These have to be detached from the inside. What about you? Alright, the sensor tower can be yeeted off. Good. Gentle. Gentle. Yeet. This ship guaranteed to have 100% less ghosts. I think that might have been it, actually. Wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I can take off this antenna? Huh? Why did the antenna get destroyed? Okay. You know what? Fine. Fine. I see how it is. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Airlock pressure levels increasing. So this is a cargo one. The other one was a passenger one. All right, let's just go ahead and help ourselves to some parts here real quick. Goodbye. Whatever that was. Hello? Oh, I need to check it out. Atmosphere regulator. Air pressure level decreasing. So, what is the play here? Is the play... The play is probably to depressurize all of these rooms one at a time. Not to open the entire ship up and let it all go at once, right? Would you all agree with that? Yeah, let's do that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Is that a rock? Yes, it's an asteroid. Now, hold on a second here. This is already depressurized. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. So, you know what I could do, actually? Since this is all depressurized now. Wait, except for this one airlock. Which we're going to do from the outside. Is let's take this part of the ship apart. Pressure levels dropping. Pew! Oh. Alright, so far no pew pews. That's very good news. Okay, so... What happens if I just start cutting things now?
clearly nothing bad will happen here, right? I see that fuel line. That fuel line worries me a little bit, but, you know, it's fine. Wait, are the thrusters, like, sitting right here? What does this do? Hold on, that's a computer terminal. That's fine. Where? Right, okay, there's thrusters and everything immediately behind me? Ah, you know what? Let's... Here we go, let's take this off. I've never done a ship like this before, so it's all learning. It's all learning at once. How will I depressurize the cabin? Wait, are you worried that with the power gone? Oh, I'll have to cut open all the doors? Right, I guess we shouldn't disconnect the power. What I'm hoping to do is let's just start taking some cargo out. Because the worst thing that happens is... When... Like, things start to fly around when you're depressurizing it, you know what I mean? And then things get smashed, and that's all bad. That's all bad. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Aha, there's another thing we want to take off here. So we'll take off the floor, we'll take out some of the cargo here, but we won't cut any electrical lines. How about that? How about that as a compromise? Does that make you happy, chat? Wait. What are you still attached to? The ship is open at the back. All the goods might fly away. Well, not if I take those loose goods and I deposit them first. See what I'm saying? Where is... Oh, I'm above it now. Oh, I didn't expect that. Tried to not have to use that, but you know what? There you go. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, right, chat? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right. Hacker voice, I'm in. So yeah, like, I should be able to take off a couple of little sections of the floor here, and nothing bad should happen. Right? Yeah, yeah! See? Now, now that that's gone... Heck yeah, let's go. All this precious cargo. Wait, this weighs 3,000 pounds? Why is this cargo so heavy? Hold on. Let me just yeet you down into there. Is that gonna work? Yes, it is. Good, 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 good. So it turns out all this cargo is like mega heavy. And that's fine. So I want to do the same thing on this side now. What's the cargo worth? We don't know yet. Keep your eyes peeled. Some of it's going to get turned in pretty quick here. At which point we'll know what the cargo is worth. Uh, the cargo seems to be worth like $47,000 dues. Nope. 90000 I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking at anymore. Alright, we just don't blow up this pipe and everything is fine. That freaked me out a little. Why are you flying away so aggressively? Hello? What are you in a hurry for? It's not a race. Okay, well, the cargo hasn't actually made it yet. Tether supplies running low. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Alright, let's go top up here. Let's 
chunks of floor loose too. I like the way I'm taking the ship apart. I think this makes sense. Okay, those crates are worth 200,000 or 160,000 each. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Heck yeah. So this looks like it should be got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We wrap. Is that gonna work or is it all too heavy? Yeah, these should all pull each other, right? All right. Okay. So we got all the heavy stuff out of the way. We got all the cargo out of the way. There's like... Now... Okay, you're obviously too heavy. Get going. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Now we hold on and hopefully nothing bad happens to us here. Okay. 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 Wait, that's it? That was just venting this little baby room? Hey, a rod. Hey, a distributor. We should do a little bit of a uh, ship minigame after this next one, too. And y'all were worried about how I was going to vent all of this. Where am I? Wait, these are beds? Okay. Oh, so this is the crew room. Okay, and this is the... Furnace of the environmental control. And this is the big old electrical panel. Okay, got it. Got it. This does beg the question of on the smaller ships, where did the crew actually sleep, right? So this is another room now. And we vent into here. Look at this. They all have little, like, TVs they can watch when they sleep on their weird bunk beds. Um, and the whole ship has now been depressurized. So here we are. Wait, is this... Oh, I guess this is a standing desk only when you're flying this ship, eh? All right. Okay. Neat! So now that that is depressurized, I can start working on the thrusters and stuff at the back. So let's see how we get there. Oh my god, this is so claustrophobic. Get there like this. So what we want to do here is snag all these components that are loose and flying. Now, I mean, we want to drain the fuel lines to detach the thrusters. So one three of it on this big ship. Currently, it's a floating desk. I guess, yeah, you don't get as tired on your feet, do you, when, you, uh, when you're zero Gs? Alright. Next things, we want to go to the back, and we want to cut out the thruster ports. We're going to carefully extract all these thrusters. Still can't believe I got got by a ghost. You know what I actually got got by chat? Complacency. <laughs> ah. Oh, the thruster caps worth $50,000? Alright. 
Hubris? No. Not hubris. That was complacency, not hubris. There is a subtle but important difference between those two things. Complacency was the real ghost all along? Exactly. All right. I, I can probably take one thruster out. You know what? Let's just start taking these out. Hello? And then we'll leave them. And we'll take. We'll actually deposit them tomorrow. Please don't bonk me. Okay, good. Good. Oh, we got Mega Got. Alright, good day. GG, good start. Good start. Morning cutter. It's time to begin your work day. How many deaths do we have? A couple. Alright, let's see how we're doing on our little ship here. Ship doctor. Hey there, I'm Shippy. I'm here to help you get this ship healthy again. Thanks, Shippy. Alright. So we've now done two things there. This is one of the pieces that were uh we're borrowing our four. So we need wires now. We have filters. We have pistons. We have heat sinks. If I had a heart, I'd be proud. My prognosis is your ship will be awesome in no time. Thanks, ship doctor. Amazing. All right, how are we doing here? Oh, we good. We good. All right, let's keep going. This is the first ship you've seen with a possible five stars. We had a couple at the end of the previous stream. So the larger the ships are, the better they go. And yeah, this is... We've had a couple now. I think this is our third. So we, we've we taken apart a... Oh, no. It's just... The pressure is really getting to me. It feels like... When I was just a kid... You heard about the Kuril Islands? It's like hell there. We escaped when I was maybe five. <sighs> Crossing the ocean in those tiny boats was the scariest two weeks of my life. You've no idea. We got oh, so I don't get close, more frustrated. we could see yeah. Pacifica, but this storm comes in, flips all of us over. I just remember sinking deeper and deeper. The water closing in all around me and I... That's what this feels like. I guess that's why I'm such a screw-up. I'm not built to carry all this weight. Anyways, thanks for listening, Cutter. That was heavy, Kaido. Dang. Well, all of these explosives are kind of alarming. A lot of fuel tanks. We're cutting near the reactor, so everything is freaking out a little. So now we do the portion where we just start cutting everything. And pieces will just start to come loose. Uh, I forgot to get a bunch, a uh, bunch more tethers. So, so that'll be fun. Something's gotta let go now, right? 100,000. Something I really enjoy is you can see when something's let loose. If you check out the total weight, 
So currently I'm looking at 100,000 pounds, but this panel is now loose because you can see it only says 1,000 kilos. See? Nice little way to tell from the inside if your uh, cutting is done or not. Do we also have a backstory? Apparently, if you read some of the early... If you read some of the early, um, like, dialogue in the emails, you can see that you're helping to pay for your dad's medical bills, I think? I didn't see that myself, but somebody in chat mentioned that. Giant radioactive symbol box. Maybe we'll chill a little bit on. Oh, these cargo hatches are free now. Okay. Bonk. Sometimes I like to just fly into it at maximum speed. <laughs> you know what? You just go follow your friend. Let's go buy ourselves some more tethers. totally free now. Wait, does that mean if I do this, like, half of the ship is just gonna go? What am I attached to? Alright, well, let's not, let's not do that, because obviously it's not detached enough. <gasps> there! Sneaky! I see you. Alright, okay. There it is. Yes. Now this is a furnace piece, eh? Ah. You thought I was out here just to make a quick space buck? After I pay off my yeah, I only you know only a little bit of debt. It's a little bit of debt as a treat, right? All right, what are you attached to still? Is it this electrical wire? Is that what's holding you into place? Oh, geez. Well rip all of my uh, tethers, apparently. Yeah, honestly, the headbutt is the most OP technique in this game, right? You need it to move. Just hit it with uh, just a little bit of momentum, you know? Just, just nudge it ever so slightly. Oh, speaking of which, 5,000 pounds. Wait, how did this... That was the power of the headbutt, chat. If you're wondering how we managed to move five tons, the headbutt. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Oh, jeez. Okay, stop. Bad, 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 bad. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. All right, so now that whole section is loose. Oh, we're doing it! All right, so now this is loose. How satisfying is this? It's real good, eh? When it just perfectly disassembles itself like this? Oh, yeah. Everybody, you're welcome. Can I take this terminal out? Salvage secured. Account credit 
Survey says yes. Good. So I do know that there are... Some more electrical things that I do need to unplug. All right, asteroid shards are worth a ton of money. Wait, hold on. Industrial hoist. No! All right, there's a $50,000 industrial hoist that was attached to something that just got yeeted away. Yes, these things. All right. Material deposited. Little mini game we have to play here. I'll be taking this fuse. Thank you very much. Taking this fuse. Thank you very much. Oh, what's in here? Oh, there's more cargo and stuff. Okay. So that's still blinking red, which means there's more... I really hope it's not behind the radiation again this time. Oh, there's one here. Okay. There. Okay. So the major electrical system has been detached now. It was attached to the Y shape. Yeah, I remember seeing it and then uh, completely forgetting about it afterwards. I was just like, oh yeah, there's totally a large piece of green thing that's attached to the ceiling. I shouldn't worry about that, right? How much is this? This is all, let's do a little scan real quick here first. Okay. Wow, was that the whole roof? Oh yes. God, that's so good. All right, get out of here. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Look. And is it amazing when the ship is this big that it, like, actually has a spine? Oh, there. Okay, this time we are not going to be losing an industrial hoist. Thank you very much. Fool me once. Spine? It's totally a spine. I don't know if you'd call it a superstructure. Maybe a keel? All right. All right, spaceship experts. What is that thing that totally looked like a rib cage or spine in a spaceship called? Wrong answer, Sony. <laughs> That's the vertebrae? That's what I thought. Thank you. Kevin! <laughs> All right. It's called the, if you can see this, you're in big trouble. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's not wrong. Oh, God. Airlock, please. Airlock. Go to your home. Okay. Okay. Wait, is this one free now as well? The <laughs> spacey back ribs? Hmm. Could really go for some spacey back ribs. A little bit of hickory barbecue sauce right now. What are you still attached to? Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Bye. So the thing that's getting a little spooky here is the reactor is still live and these fuel pumps right now are the coolants that are attaching it. So I have to be really careful that I don't accidentally detach the front of the ship from the back of the ship because that's what is attaching the reactor and keeping it from going into a meltdown. just in case you were curious.
Is this all Bernie? Okay. Into the garbage with you. Once that's out of the way. Wait, no. Oh, that's bad. St cancel. Cancel. Can I rescue this in time? It should be stronger, right? Come on, you butt. No, 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 no. It's too late. Valuable component destroyed. I tried. I tried to save it. Are these all just all kinds of wonky now? Ah, they really are. That's a little spooky. But can I fly in here? Aha. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Alright, this panel's loose ish. Good, good. So what we're saying is there's a chance to get these fuel tanks out now. All right. All right, Cutter. Yeah. Wrap it up. You got oh, there's only a minute left? Gentle. Gentle. These are all highly explosive. Gentle. All right. One. Ah, ah, ah. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Careful. Gentle. Yeet. <laughs> Deposited. All right. Today we learned that space fuel is green. All right. Gentle. Careful. Yeet. And uh, I think we call it there for now. Anything I can cut the last couple seconds I have. Yeah, I cut you. I cut you. And uh, that's the day. GG. All right, we accidentally destroyed a thing or two, but ultimately the day was very profitable, very profitable. Um, was that that whole panel going into the wrong, getting incinerated? I think it was, yeah. But still, $3 million day, only cost us 600000 for the privilege to work. Did you disconnect the front from the BRAC and break the reactor in that last move? Probably not. If that was the case, the emergency sound for the um, reactor would start. Oh, the hoist. Yeah, the hoist was a big part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You love coming back after a couple streams and seeing how much my technique has changed. Changed or improved? Ah, whatever. What do you mean changed? Hold on, time out. Improvement is a kind of change. I'm not here to judge. Wow. Everyone's an expert. Okay, I, I see how it is. Alright, so these are all still attached to something. Right, 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 right. So last, uh, last time, our hero was carefully extracting explosives. Alright, let's just do this first. Careful. Gentle. Yeet. Good. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Careful. Gentle. Yeet. Got a rhythm. Careful. Gentle. Yeet. Yeet. Alright. Good. 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 Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Careful. Yeet. 
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. All right, we can all collectively exhale. Credits transferred. How many y'all were holding your breath? So nervous. Like, my God, can he do it? Uh, this all looks pretty unattached at the back here. The problem is... Probably have to wait until other things have been detached before I can start moving Salvage too many things away. Alright, so this whole thing is loose. This whole thing is loose, but I'm strong enough to push that one by hand. What else is loose? Um, oh, wires. I need those. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. I'm going to pull it a little bit by hand first, just because it is kind of close to these, these pipes, which we don't want to have explode. Can I take that whole section off? No, that's still it. What are you still attached to? Why do you say you weigh 70,000 pounds? How dare you? Hey, Morden Solace Sings. What's up, friend? Thank you so much for seven months. Uh, temperature control unit. That's not the same thing that prevents the reactor from exploding. I'll just go ahead and remove this. Now that's loose. Heck yeah. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. The temperature control unit was structural for some reason. Yeah, I saw that. So I think it's going to be the same thing on this side as well. which means this is now detached. Love to see it. All right, we'll, uh, I'll pull the ladder out now. Why not? Like I'm right here, right? You like the technique there of passing the ladder up and through? Oh, I'm so good at video game. Can I patch that? Can I patch that? Is that fine? That's fine, right? That's fine. Let's just go ahead and prepare to maybe pull this reactor out. Just, you know, just in case. Just in case. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage gained. Rewards increasing. You know, just for no reason whatsoever, let's just start preparing to take this out, you know? wasn't necessarily ready for this, but, you know, here we are. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I pull this out this way... Okay, I've got lots of room. i got lots of room. Uh, let's just do this now. Let's just do this now. Let's just do this now. Right? It's always best to take something like a giant reactor out of the ship when you're in the middle of panicking. 
right? That was so clean. That was so clean. Come on. Come on. You got to admit, that was that was so good. There wasn't even a single explosion. All right, that likely means I can detach the front from the back now, too. So if I wanted to do that, I can probably detach these pipes. Hold on. Yeah, these pipes are both that... I should be able to do this with no explosions. Okay. <laughs> Good start. Good start. And now... This one should also not explode. blew up. <laughs> now, similarly, I should be able to do this. And all of these pipes should now... Oh my god. I can't believe that actually worked. Wait, is this too big to come off as one? Wait, why... why? Why are you at why are you attached? What are you attached? Salvage Pardon? All right, goodbye, pipe. Uh, pardon? Okay. Good. Does that mean I can take this out now? Oh, I can. Ooh. This is probably worth good money. Oh, you're attached because there's still a panel at the back. Normally, that's two separate thingies. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! So, if I can find a way to detach this, the whole back of the ship should then be its own piece, right? So, 60,000, 60,000. But if I cut here... Is it now cut in half? Let's find out. Yes! Okay, they're, these are now separate. Let's just go ahead and send this whole thing free into its new home. Cutter, you got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We wrap. Salvage deposit Amazing. All right, go home. Go to your home. <gasps> little spooky for a second there. All right, so that means, that means I can start taking all of these apart now, right? Let's, decom let's take apart the whole back of the ship first. So this cube is attached. Okay, I see. Actually, hold on. It's not possible for me to just send all of this at once. I guess I should take these ladders out first. I think there are some electronics still inside of here.
So the Gecko is currently the largest ship out so far? Okay, that's good to know. Checking the roadmap. You don't know if they're going to get any bigger. It's kind of cool. There's not a lot of space. Like, unless... Unless you actually, along the storyline, progress to another, like, class of, um... Shipyard, you know what I mean? I don't know how much room there actually is. So give me a second. I want to take this and just pull it out. And hopefully that just comes out in one nice clean piece. Looks like it did, which means I should be able to just yeet this whole thing here. Processing valuable objects. Yeah, and then all of this should be clear and free. Yeah, it is. To just go... Oh, can I pull 24,000? I probably can't. I should probably... Ah, uh, you know what? I You know what? Never say never, right, chat? I think it just means I don't have enough tethers. Didn't realize I was currently dying. <laughs> Temperature control unit, 70,000. Boo! Welcome to Oxygen level stabilizing. Is this even moving or no? Can't tell if moving or not, chat. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Clearly needs a headbutt? Hmm. Don't tempt me. I'll do it. I'll headbutt it in a second. You don't... So, like... What happens if I cut this? Nope. Yeah, this is all just one giant piece of ship here. It's all... It's all connected, man. Dig deep and let's finish strong. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Oh, these lights are holding it together? No way. That's... Come on. The lights were holding it together? The lights. The lights were holding it together. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Uh huh. New certification level achieved. License upgraded. Load bearing lights. Well, we hit rank three, so we have a free repair kit. And look at that 8,000 points if we can hit that. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Oh! Links would like to share the following. There's also the Gecko class Stargazer. So we've had a Gecko passenger ship, a Gecko cargo ship, and now this is the Gecko science ship. That's cool. Everything is good. I'm not too worried about... We'll spend our space points once we're done our ship. I kind of like upgrading between ships, you know? So our tethers should still be working from the previous shift. Um, and my only hope is that they clear the furnace. Yeah, see? Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. 
Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. No! No, 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 no. What did I just say? Oh, there's so profanity in this game. What in the hell are you doing? Why? I'm so sorry, Mr. Oates, sir. I... I... Okay, Kato. Please stop. I just... I need to hear this from you. You have received full shipwrecker training, right? Yes, I, I have. These ships are... are different. They're more complicated. So you want to be trained on every single ship that might possibly show up in the yard. What about just basic problem solving skills? Honestly, Kato, I'm a little surprised you're even here. How? Come on now. In management, we have a saying. Disagree and commit. You can disagree with the decision, but you must commit once it's been made. I mean say disagree with your place here, Kato, but you are a Link shipwrecker, and I am committed to that. Are you committed, Kato? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, what are you waiting for? Get back in there and try it again. Oh, I hope Kato doesn't die. Well, everything kind of fell apart at the start of the ship shift that makes me kind of sad i should be a little bit more careful that's been happening a fair amount like the large nose pieces just get sucked into the furnace which is really unfortunate oh yeah hal sucks i think we're all on team hal sucks i don't think you'll have much disagreement there but that is absolutely by design there's not supposed to be a single redeemable quality to hal right Oh, what else we in here? There it is. You're on Team Hal? Nah, you're just trolling. Nobody's on Team Hal. Everything here detached? Yes, okay. Hello? There it is. Wow, this song reminds me so much of Led Zeppelin right now, eh? Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 uh, that is not at all the piece I thought it was. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right, uh, let's very carefully remove these coolant tanks now. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. We can still, we can still five star this, even with that catastrophic failure that we started the day with. I just don't know if I can get it today. We might do one more day on this ship. Because I still don't know how to properly take the, um, like the nose off of this thing. Alright, there should be some coolants on this side of the ship now. All right, gentle, gentle. So, can't help but notice there's a little bit of cargo in the front half of the ship here, which is not in the cargo hold. Is the thought here that... That, like, things floated away? Okay, there's the radiation filter. Probably shouldn't touch that too much. Hello? There, goodbye. All right, good. And now we want to take the power generator out as well. This one should not touch us. Radiation 
I don't know. Oh! Oh! What is that? A little light show. Um. Hello? What? A, what is that? I don't like it. Uh, that whole piece does look loose. So that can go here now. Any load-bearing lights on this one? It's a radiation cloud. Is that how radiation works, chat? Cloudy with a chance of radiation? There's more radiation there. Warning. No tethers remaining. No tethers remaining. Okay. Depends on your definition of cloud. Okay. Welcome to Resident Evil Spot fuel twice. I don't really think it matters that much. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. That's all furnace stuff. Good to know. Hey, a circuit board. Fine. Now, what else are we looking at here? Let's try this again with the radiation. This time, just say no to radiation. There. See? That time I chose to simply not be irradiated. Alright, that seems bad. Let's get you out of here. Take your radiation cloud with you. So, the next thing I don't know what to do is I have no idea... I have no idea how to get all of the high-value cargo out of the cockpit tunnel. So let's try taking the whole back of this section off and seeing if we can't get access to it all. <laughs> when I worked as a safety person, then they teach me about random clouds of radiation. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Day one. If you ever encounter a cloud of radiation, simply walk away. Don't make eye contact. They're highly aggressive. What are you still attached to? This? Is this what you're still attached to? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Clouds of radiation are more scared of you than you are of it. Yep, that, that was another part of the, uh, the lesson. What the, what the heck are you attached to there, buddy? Oh, there's a load-bearing computer inside? Alright, chat, remember. Don't... Don't install your walls by structurally attaching them to uh, your beds. Typically a bad idea. Alright, is this still attached to some... To what? The storage bin? No, alright. Still attached? What? What's this? There we go. Okay, now this wall is free. Hold on, what are you? What, come back? What are you? Oh, you're garbage. You are also garbage. Now! Crap. Come on, man. That was $30,000? Right, Wait, how did... Oh my god, how did time go by so fast? Okay, mattress into the garbage. 
At least they got that part of the game right. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Let's change my angle here slightly. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Is that a mattress I just flung? Salvage deposit accepted. Wait, why does... Hold on, time out. Space mattresses apparently weigh 46 kilos. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. 46 kilos for a space mattress, chat. I bet you there's people in chat who weigh less than 46 kilos. Salvage just secured. stuffed full of space contraband? Okay, that's fair. They're probably weighted to keep them from moving when people are sleeping on them. Oops. I don't know. Oh, well. Alright. Screw that piece of wall, apparently. So are you detached yet? You are. Awesome. And now you're just floating. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So the goal there was to try and open up access to this hallway, which we have done. So now what I should be able to do... Start pulling all of these components out. And then hopefully as this goes, we're able to take more and more of this apart. I think this is the fastest way to do this? I don't know. Last time we just gave up, but we also had like a complete reactor explosion and bad stuff too, so... Oh, hello, Lily. Lily, I got absolutely punked by a ghost ship. I had taken a whole ship apart except for just the cockpit front section. And then I had already depressurized everything. When I wasn't paying attention, the cockpit AI ghost repressurized it. So when I opened the door, I got so aggressively vented that it smashed my helmet and flung me into the furnace in one move. And then all the remaining ship was so pressurized it blasted off to Earth and escaped. So I died. Mega died. And lost everything. I got so punked. Yeah, I think there's a clip. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess if you have to die, that's a pretty good way to die, right? We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. Oh, by the way, Lily, there's definitely some profanity in the dialogue, which we hadn't really seen before, but there's a scene between uh, Kato and Hal. And you're like, hmm. Which is fine. It is what it is. Alright. Uh, let's start... Where's the other radioactive hatch? Is here? Okay, let's start taking this apart with the final couple seconds we have today. So we're going to do one more day to get that 5 star. There's a PG-13 swear? I guess. But like, PG-13 also gives you one F-bomb per movie, and I wouldn't call that a PG-13 swear. Well, I mean, I guess technically it is. But you know what I mean. Try to keep the profanity light, aiming for that teen rating. Yeah, that's fair. All right, we're going for these 8,000 points, Jet. We're going for it. 
aiming for E, but you probably won't get it. Yeah. Like the opening cinematic where your body gets broken down into parts and you scream is probably not for everybody. <laughs> morning ship breaker. Link game is literally being ranked now. Yeah. So when I was trying to figure out if this game was going to be good for the stream or not, I, I just asked Lily. I was like, Lily, there's no rating for your game. And she's like, all right, let me walk you through it. I'm like, heck yeah, let's go. All right, we want to repair this grapple. Yeah, Lily worked on the game. Lily was responsible for this kitchen. Ooh. Isn't it pretty? And then one of the first days that we were streaming this, we had some more uh, Blackbird people hanging out in chat, trying to convince me to do all of the wrong things, leading me astray. Yes, Mr. Rhodes. Let's practice some on-the-fly problem-solving. Go get that reactor. Uh, yeah. No, Kato! So Don't- if you kill Kato, I swear to God, Hal. What did we say about disagree and commit? Commit to the reactor. Yes, um, I just need a minute. Don't rush now, Cass. Set up two ships in a row. Wait, Kato can't die because he can be okay, okay. cloned. Okay. okay. Uh, I've got it. No, you don't. Damn it, Kato. Back out of there quick, Lock. It's melting down. Shoot. I'm sorry. Oh. Computer oh, terminal. You just vaporized a highly valuable object. He wasn't ready. Oh, oh, I had, we had the wrong thing attached. Have insufficient training of our teams. You're the one breaking protocol and making us skip training. Don't talk to me about protocol. Someone's got to foot the bill for screw ups like this. I'll be more careful next time. You can just add this to my debt. Oh, I already have, kid. Now, I want you to punch out. So you and I can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. E yes, sir. The rest of you can carry on. Kato's being bullied. I need to talk. How dare you? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yeah, we don't have a lot of room for error here if we want to five-star this. Everything has to be perfect. You don't think you like Hal? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what gave it away that Hal was uh, not likable? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right. Is this section done? I think there's some computers on the inside. Furnace. Okay. I mean, lights aren't really worth a lot, but, you know, here we are. What's my opinion of the soundtrack of this game? I love it. I love it. Getting some very powerful, like, Bon Jovi vibes. Occasionally a little bit of Led Zeppelin. In particular, like, Dead or Alive. It's Bon Jovi who sings Dead or Alive, right? Oh, there's still one thing on the inside here. There we go. Okay, so... Handles? Pardon? How much is a handle worth? Handles are worth... Nothing? Question mark? Salvage 
Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, we're going to carefully, surgically, perfectly remove all of these computer terminals. Careful now. Good. Handles. Yeah, 450 million credits. Wait a second, what? Time out. God, we're so close. All right, we have 11 minutes. Careful with this computer. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we're going to take off this little... I didn't notice that there was a coolant tank on the outside of the ship here. Careful. Yeet. Good. All right. Have I nailed everything in here? Wait. Oh, they're detached now. Are they? Okay, there's a couple of computers still. Okay, good, good. So, that must have been some type of weird, like, load-bearing hallway thing. So, other than this glass, all of this is processed? Alright, chat. So, that means I should be able to just do this. Right? I don't think I care about that tiny amount of glass. And that means... We should be five-starring our very first gecko. There's a light in the hallway, that little baby light. You know what? Maybe I could grab it. Wait, you mean that light? That light? That light. That light's worth a thousand. Nice. We snagged it out of the air. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right. Let's find out if we are five star or five sad. Very good. Very good joke, streamer. <laughs> okay, that glass was worth $700. We did it! We did it! Our first ever five-star gecko. All right, you know what? I think I deserve these eight minutes of break time today. <laughs> I mean, we did waste a million dollars worth of stuff, but we got 13 million. Look, chat. Only 1 billion, 160 million to go on our debt. We've paid off 90 million dollar dues. Hey, Serge, I saw the Friday Night Paper Fight yesterday and I almost cried. You're a great host and it's so much fun to see you and the Lure folks in the same room these days. Yo, thank you very much, Guitar Cat. I appreciate that. All right, we have, oh my God, 14 thousand points worth of upgrades to do now. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Good morning, Hab. Uh, let's see if we can find a Lynx Cutter. science ship. I haven't done that yet. Oh, let's listen to Weaver. Kato's been up here going on. Two years now? Kid can't hit the broad side of a gecko. You've seen how he is. But you know what? You tell him, Kai, you need to scan before you cut. And he says, yes, sir, I will. And you have that conversation a hundred times. And you know that every time he says that, yes, sir, I will, you know he means it. Did I put him in this position? Should I have set him on his way years ago? 22 years with links. Don't even know what a lame old dog like me would do other than this. Uh, I'm blabbering on. 
what I wanted to say, cousin. About the bobcat and whatnot. Mmm. I may be wrong about that. Oh no! Weaver out. <clears throat> Poor Weaver. Weaver is really just trying to be a father figure for all of us cutters. All right, uh, I'm deliberately not ever upgrading the laser here. I just don't like that. Paint. Ooh, more cooldown. Don't mind if I do. Uh, the the bobcat is a metaphor that uh, Hal Hal is kind of scary, but so is a bobcat. So if you just treat Hal like a bobcat, everything will be fine. What is this? Uh, more grabby strength. I'm happy with that. What's this? More tether. Oh, 25 tethers? Heck yeah, let's go. Tethers last longer. Tethers. Oh, I push harder. Okay. Look at this. God, you take a one gecko apart. Top speed. Fuel capacity. Oh my god. What an upgrade. Uh, yeah, may as well just repair everything. I've got 12 of these kits. I'll leave the other one. 94, 95 is good enough. All right, chat. What? Oh, there we go. Station hopper. Now, this is a cargo one. I don't love that these little baby ships are up here at, like, 12 hazard... Nah, get out of here. Save this for the big ships. Speaking of which, is there another gecko up here? No. So only one gecko. I only want to be working on geckos right now. Alright, so I believe this is the passenger one, which is just filled with all kinds of seats. And this one is tough because it has an outer carapace, uh, like like some type of insect, and then an inner, inner bitty as well. Kaito and I had a real good heart-to-heart -heart yesterday. Right, Kai? No. Oh, yep. Stop bullying, Kaito. So what's the punishment? Docked pay? A formal write-up? No sugar cubes for a month? Nothing. No punishment. Kai and I just needed to talk mano a mano. What does that even mean? <laughs> Keep mouthing off, Steiner. And you'll find out. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad y'all figured it out. <laughs> it means hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ha ha ha! Oh, man. Hal turned Kai into a mole? Oh, I hate the thought of that. You're probably right. No. So yeah, this is the passenger one. You can see all of these seats everywhere. Go ahead and help ourselves to a little, you know, a little, uh, it's the equivalent of an all-you-can-eat buffet. But what I'm doing is I'm flying around grabbing space parts. He's totally a mole. You're right. Oh. What's this? The data drive. Alright, give me a second here. Air pressure level decreasing. Is this a repair kit? Nice. Free repair kit. Let's go. Ooh, wires. We needed wires. Wires are very important for us right now. It's like the next thing we need for our meta progress unlock. Anything in here? Okay, let's... Crap. Oh, that was just a little baby room. Okay, it's fine.
We're going to try and vent little areas one at a time. The reactor room. Wait, no, it was unpressurized. Oh, weird. This room is not pressurized, but the others are? So hold on, what happens in this one? Airlock pressure levels dropping. Right, okay, okay. those later. Alright, how are we doing here? So, the inside is now fully depressurized. Ooh, another repair kit? Heck yeah. But I need to somehow get into the cargo area. Goodbye. How do I get there? Do I have to go from the outside? No. Maybe here? Here it is. No, that's outside, outside. Thank you, Hosk. That's right. We got another rod. Everybody clap. Um, is it this? It's an access panel. Oh! Access panel. No! Wrong access. Wrong kind of access. Okay. That's another access panel to radiation. Okay, that's bad. Chat, I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost and I'm wasting time. Do I just want to cut my way in from the outside? How do I get out of this box and into the next box? Maybe there's another access panel somewhere? Let me, let me just hug the right wall or something like that. Maybe we'll find it. Because, yeah, we're, we're losing time, and I'm all kinds of turned around. So that's an air filter. That is just a giant radioactive thing that's in the way. There's nowhere else to go in here. <gasps> here! I was wrong. There was a way to go. All right. Now the game truly begins. Okay. All right, we're at the back with the reactor. So let's go ahead and just unplug all of these while we're here. One and two and three. Let's take off these large wings at the back because these are often worth good money. And there'll be an easy way in and out. I'm sure you can't fly that far away. Alright, well, we wasted half of day one. And uh, what do we have to show for it? Well, we depressurized everything. And we stole everything that wasn't attached to the ground. So that's, that's kind of a win too, right? We got at least one rod. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. So it's... Don't smash. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh. 
I like that chat's just like, you got one rod and then everybody starts clapping. My people. Is there another one of these on the side of the ship? Yes, right there. Okay. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I'll probably take the thrusters out as well today. So, this ship, we're going to take the thrusters out, and then we probably have to spend a ton of time... Uh, probably have to spend... Oh, jeez. Whoo! A ton of time dismantling the entire exterior, and then cutting out the, um, like, the interior layer. Which is a bunch of work, but that's fine. And you know what we're not going to do with this ship? We're not going to lose any high-value blue components into the red. Right, chat? We're going to have learned from our past mistakes. Gentle. 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 It's just a thruster for a spaceship, you know. Wait, how did this get rusty? Hold on. Time out. Anybody in chat able to tell me how rust happens in space? All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left to this ship before they turn the lights out on you. That'll buff out. Leave her but I thought I thought rust comes from oxidizing. And oxidizing implies that you need oxygen. Yeah. Space particles! Okay, that's fair. Space oxygen. <laughs> Alright, now, you know what? I asked a question, and, uh, yeah, space oxygen. We got there. That's the official death answer. <laughs> Uh, you heard it there, chat. I mean... I don't know if you... If it gets any more official than that. Somebody just wedged that right in there, eh? Alright, that's fine. Oh, hold on. So good at quick time events. Did you see that? No hesitation. First try. All right, you appear to be highly explosive. And I have to go ahead and ask myself why. have to get outside and get some oxygen sometime soon too. Alright, how are we doing here? Uh, I could probably cut my way back and not die. That's the hope at least. Something will come loose by the time we get there, right? Maybe even this component. Yeah! Oh, I'm so good at video games. Alright, uh, you go there, please. And then, let's just go ahead and top ourselves up real quick here. Valuable object 
I'm not good. Yo, what's up, friend? Really appreciate that brand new sub. Welcome. Thank you for the support. All right, let's just go ahead and grab this airlock right now. Just ever so gently remove it. Gentle. This ladder. I hope you all appreciate the absolute delicate dance that is the way I disassemble these ships. What do you think, Lily? Is this the way you and the devs play? Every cut has to be precise. Just want to say thank you for turning me on to this game. I've been playing it almost exclusively for the past week and I love it. Hey, right on! Glad to hear it, friend. Oh, a big, a big panel came off. Wait, you're not that big. You're only 800 kilos. A medium down. panel came Stay off. Oh, wires. Yes. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. You are admittedly terrible at this game. Do you get impatient? Do you just start slashing everything? Oh, you find it easier with the controller. Neat. All right. Um, looking for more cut points. Hello? Cut points? Maybe on this side? Maybe on this side. Aha! Fresh cut points everywhere. Actually, let's just grab this. That'll call it a day. I can cut you. Got there. The game's supposed to come out on a PS4 at some point. Oh, neat! Oh, does the controller have some sort of auto-aim? Mouse and keyboard has auto-aim as well, Kisunoki. We actually hit a bug with that earlier where the auto-aim got a little too excited. And I was like, all right, gentle game, please. Oh! Hello, Plot Shepard. time. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Played a lot more Stellaris lately, too. Nice. Yeah. How's the guarantee been holding up? How many explosions have we had? And remember, the, co the, the guarantee was no comma. Explosions guaranteed, right? Rook, you hearing me? What happened with Kaido was complete garbage. Roach just always doubling down, pushing him. The only thing worse than corporate suits are low-level bootleggers like him. He's an insecure rat. <sighs> Even Weaver seems to have given up fighting for us. Even he's not safe from that snake. It's not right what's happening. And from what I see, none of us are safe. We need to do something. The other stations don't have it much better either. This kind of thing is going down everywhere. Good job, Sturge. You chop chop those gonna ships. I'm not going to stand by and let them kick us around like this anymore. We deserve better. Keep you posted. Lou out. We like Lou. So, technically, we didn't explode. Technically, we got violently pressurized backwards into an incinerator, Hello, which is significantly funnier. <laughs> Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Did that ship explode? There's no way to prove it. I'm a little nervous to bring this up. But I can't take Rhodes crap anymore. It's clear that none of us are safe. You're not talking about this union stuff again, are you? You bet I am. What other option do we have? Lou, no. How? No. I've seen these movements come and go, kid. They don't change a thing except get us regular folks into even more trouble. Yeah, hold up now. You sure about this, Lou? Sure as one can be, Weaver. He's even coming after you. You know that. 
After all you've done for them? I can't get into any more trouble. None of this. Oh no, Kaido! Don't you rat on us, Kaido. Don't you dare. But the only thing they care about is their bottom line. So we need to hit them where it hurts. Hold your damn horses, Lou. What are you suggesting? It's cold. Are we gonna strike? Look around you. We are expendable. We have no say in our futures. When our human rights aren't being given, we need to take them. I admire your fire, kid, but this is too much. I can't risk this. I got family to look after. I'm out. I need to think about this some more. But I appreciate that you care, Lou. Damn it. They're just scared, Lou. I know where you're coming from. But is this really the right thing to do? Dang. Lou, I gotta go. How's coming up? I'll talk soon. Well, Rook. There has to be a point where enough is enough. And this is mine. I wanted them on board, but we can get support elsewhere. I'll contact the Union tomorrow. And I hope you'll be with us when it counts. Lou out. There was a I am not good message in chat, which said, I like Lou, but she signed me up for a newsletter and I don't know if I can forgive her. And I thought that was very funny. <laughs> Welcome to All right, we are going to perfectly disassemble this entire outer side and it's going to be amazing. Wait. You're loose, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. Yes, chat. <gasps> wait, wait. How much is... Wait, hold on. Ooh. Oh, other things are loose, too. Yes. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right, good talk. Well, hold on. Uh, that's fine. What is this? Oh, a coil. Alright, are you a load-bearing temperature controller? Uh, you sure were. No idea why, but you were. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. If there's a strike, will I cross the picket lines? Don't don't you worry, chat. Snurge is 100% a scab, though, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Look, we'll take a day off. We'll work on our... There's all kinds of stuff we can do. Actions of solid solidarity. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. And... An opportunity to invest in us, you know? We can try to get to inbox zero. But Serge, your father is dying. Can you afford to take a day off work? No. The voice inside my head, my insecurities. But will I ever be able to pay off my debt to truly help my father? <gasps> oh, isn't it perfect when it just comes apart like that? Mm. Oh yeah, my laser reaches forever now. Look at that. Eventually, we're going to be so good, we won't even have to leave the station. We can just laser the whole thing apart perfectly from across the map. <gasps> Ooh. 
Wasn't that perfect? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, um, let's cut some more things here just so these pieces are slightly more bite-sized. Just lasered from the window of the base. Yeah, wait, hold on. That sounds like bad advice. You can't laser through a window. I'm on to you and your tricks. I right, just got to nudge some pieces here ever so slightly. All right. Okay. Now from outside, what can I do? All right. You, I can hand grab. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. That should also be loose. That should also be loose. Please, no kill. Please, no... Please, no kill. I said please. It means legally you can't do it anymore. Oh! Hey! Come back. All right, am I completely turned around again? I am, good. So we're not gonna lose any of these pieces again, right chat? Yeah, you're fine, fine, holy moly. <gasps> yes, okay. Good. I don't know what a flume shoot. Oh, that's a fume shoot. That makes more sense. Ah, you're probably fine. Remember the furnace. Oh god, Hosk. I actually have no idea what you're talking about with a furnace. Which furnace? What am I remembering about it? Oh no. Which furnace? Did I ask you to remind me of something and I forgot? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. That's bad. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. What furnace? <laughs> What furnace? Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, that furnace. Thank you. I remember now, Hosk. I thought there was like a furnace that was attached to things. Oh, that furnace. The furnace that killed me. Gentle. Gentle. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Alright, is this nose still all one piece? It is, but I should be able to now. Credits deposited. A couple of very strategic cuts here. And by removing these load-bearing lights, I should be able to take this whole nose off, right? No? Not yet? Alright. Keep working at it. Wait, hold on. Time out. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Are you the load bearing light? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Just gently nudge your way through with this tank. Perfect. Okay. Is this just one giant 10,000 pound piece? Like, what are... Are you just that thick? Okay. Okay. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes pieces are just chonky. And that's okay. We don't judge here.
right? Like you're not attached to anything. You're just you're just that heavy. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. All right, perfect. Okay, so is that the entirety of the exterior? Oh, we haven't done the reactor yet, and I think I think that's okay. Caution: tether supplies running low. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Warning, tethers depleted. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Kevin Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We wrap. All right, I don't think today is a reactor day. Destroyed an aluminum panel? How dare you? Okay, is this piece loose? This piece is worth this piece weighs 2000 pounds. So that's a that's a no. That piece is also not loose. Okay. Okay. All right, we got we got some minor problems here. Where are these minor problems? Is it these stupid load-bearing lights again? I swear to God. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's take these fuel tanks out. Gentle, 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 gentle. Good. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. It is a little alarming when you look through that window and all you see is like the fire. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right, let's start doing... We're not going to do the reactor today, but we are going to do some prep work for it because I remember last time... This is one of the sloppier reactors we've done in a while, because it's in this box. Who puts a reactor in a box, right? Talk about hard to get to. This song reminds me of Pink Floyd. Now, hold on. How do I, how do I get this out? Wait, hold on. Are you? You're completely detached. What if? No. Maybe? What if I did this instead? Is this, is this demonstrating me learning? Like, what if I just pulled it straight back? Right? Just to get it out of the way. Yeah! That makes me feel kind of smart. Okay. 
Okay. And now... Now I can do... Well, hold on. Now I can do this. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this ship. It's almost like they're trying to not remove the reactor. Who are these people? What do you mean, not remove the reactor? Ten seconds left. <sighs> Good day. Good day. Good day. Another really good day. So the plan here is we're going to find the room that the environmental control unit is in and we're going to cut the floor out so that we have easier access and then we're just going to start with the reactor and that should get part of me. The reactor is typically worth about $3 million, so that should take us most of the way to uh, three stars there. Pardon me. Actually, give me one quick second. Wow, we've been going for three hours already? I'm going to get a glass of water. I'll be right back. Hey, what up, everybody? We're back. All right. You ready to remove a reactor? Ship breaker. Please oh! Gather up, fellas. Gather up. I got something to share with you all. A real treat. Hold up. Where's Lou at? Where is Lou? You'll come to that. Now, I'm going to read a message. I oh, no! Left. No! <clears throat> Two group undisclosed. As has been occurring in salvage yards across the colonies, our team has been struggling with an administrator who is oppressive. Oh, did Kai and, snitch? And cruel. <clears throat> this official puts our safety at risk and assaults the mental health and well being of our team. These clear tactics of oppression are being used to undermine the strength and will of our crew. Hmm. We need to show Lynx and the world <laughs> that we are not without power and we will no longer tolerate being treated as less than human. Industrial action would show Lynx that we control the means of their profit. Action is hope. Solidarity is strength. Your colleague in solidarity, Lou, Carnegie Station. Where's Lou? Heading back where she belongs. You've gone way out of line here, Hal. This is my crew, and I say who stays and who goes. Save it, Joseph. I've shared all this with headquarters. 
And now, I've got one last thing. A message from Ray Paulson herself. So I strongly encourage you all to pay attention. To all employees of Link Salvage Division, this is an important update on our effort to safeguard you from predatory union organizers. We have received disturbing information of a plan to commit a terrible act of violence by this group. In these drastic times, it is our duty to take drastic measures. For this, we turn to Clause 19C. Oh, no! Clause 19C stipulates that anything produced by Lynx equipment is the sole property of Lynx Corporation. Most importantly, this clause applies to the genetic assets produced by our Everwork technology. Oh, the company owns us! Oh, wow. Lynx Corporation will immediately assume control of all individual rights and liberties of its employees. Isn't that exciting? This will allow us to greatly restrict the spread of union activity and protect our precious workforce. Well! You entrusted yourself to us and we will keep you safe from harm. <gasps> Thank you. This is ludicrous. First you push the hazard levels on us, then you stop us from training. You take Dee Dee's comms away, you bully Kaido, Lou disappears, and now this? Now this is beyond- It's all right there in your contract, Joseph. Now, as your corporate representative, Curazon, your financial account with New Manila Credit is being turned over to Lynx. Recurring transfers there will be stopped immediately. 52. That vehicle parked outside your hab is now Link's property. My ride! So that's a tug to retrieve it. No, 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 no. You can't do that. That was my personal property and I gave that to... Muted. And don't think I haven't seen you scrounging parts on the job, 52. That's theft, kiddo. And it stops now. Please. My family. Please. Look, this is all temporary. This got, uh... Until this union huh. gets sorted. Disagree and commit, people. That's not what disagree and commit now, means, Hal. Since we're down a person, you're all gonna have to pick up the slack. Chop, chop, folks. These ships aren't breaking themselves. I'll see you all in the yard. Roads out. That's both an oofa and a doofa. This is the end of Act 2. Thank you for playing. Oh, oh good. We're looking forward to continuing the story in future updates. Until then, have fun continuing to climb the cutter ranks, exploring the additional tools, upgrades, and ships, and shipping away at the balance that you owe to Lynx. Oh, all right. All right, okay. What a cliffhanger. Wait, is my ship actually gone? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 okay. The tow truck didn't arrive yet. Whew! For a game about disassembling space debris, they sure have done a good job of making us feel something, eh? All right, now give me a second here. I need to, where are you? You're here. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go from above. Oops, wrong above.
anything attached to this or is it just all garbage? Good. All right. Time to focus, chat. Time to focus. So unplug. Do I have a clear path for this reactor? Currently, the answer to that is no, I do not. That's bad. I, I would like a clear path reactor. How do I do that? You know what I do? I take you and I pull you back. Right? Okay. All right. You ready, chat? Let's do this. Oops. Oh my god, stop. Please. Uh. Eh. Hello? What am I stuck on? Okay. Okay, come with me. Come with me. Gentle. 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 Hmm. All right, good stuff. So a little bit more destruction than I kind of would have wanted. I guess I left it for too long, eh? Yeah, it kind of melted some things here. Hmm. Not bad. Not a bad melt. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright, so we can start taking out the stuff like these pipes. And this. The keel. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. All right, uh, the next thing we want to do is probably get underneath now. Wait, hold on. I can take... Ooh, I can take these out. This is worth good money. job. Okay, next thing we want to do is take off this radioactive thingy. Oh, there we go. So apparently whatever the radiation touches, it starts to have a little radiation shower. Is that, is that what I'm experiencing here? A little bit of a radiation storm is a treat. Oh, look at that! Isn't that fun? Yeah, so that must be when I bump the radiation into something, because if I remove it flawlessly, we don't get that, right? I believe is hello. This I believe is now loose and should be able to pull out. Remember, not into the furnace, right? Right, chat. Oh, there's a 
There's one behind it. How dare you? No. No. <laughs> it tried so hard. All right. Now what we do is we start pulling all the furniture out, right? I remembered the furnace. Thank you, Hosk. It was only with your reminder. So, one of these should have come loose. None of these have come loose. What have I done wrong? Time out. Love how chill and peaceful the streams are. Right on, friend. Glad you're here. They are a good time, just not a loud time. <laughs> All right, are you are you loose now? No. I have is it this load-bearing light? Are you the problem? No. Okay. What have I done wrong? Maybe I have to head inside and there's like a chair or something stupid that I have to detach. All right, let's head inside, uh, please. Let's head inside and I'm betting you, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I'm betting you some of these chairs. Some of these chairs are the reason the ground isn't loose. Where is it? Which one is the load bearing chair? Is it you? Is it this load bearing light here? No, they're still all attached and I don't know why. Are you the problem? Yes, it was, that was the load bearing chair. <laughs> Alright, where'd the other one go? This one, eh? Uh, nope, nope. Go that way, please. Hello? Please don't hurt me. Alright, now... Now all the chairs get to go to their home. Sure. Alright, All right. you got me there. Chairs are by design load-bearing. Yes, very good, very good. What do we say about Smart Alex? Salvage secured. Credit deposited. <laughs> Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So last time we did one of these. Salvage deposit accepted. We didn't off the bat know that we could just remove these floor panels and thus we weren't able to like perfectly and cleanly extract the contents. Remember we tried to awkwardly cut the ship in half? What a mess that was. Alright, about three minutes. Oh god, I hope I needed that in the right direction. 
grapple damage. How did that happen? That's not going to work. All right, hold on. Are you loose? You are most certainly not loose. I'm watching my O2 chat. Watching my own too. Don't worry. All right, now we're going back. Oxygen reserves are low. Yeah, yeah. Reminder: asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Hello. Welcome to Vendetron. Oxygen level stabilizing. Right, I was trying to take this wall off. I guess I have to get onto the ceiling? Why? Wait, why are you still attached? You're not. Okay, perfect. Okay, um... Remember that wall. Right here. So, that means this should just perfectly... Yes! <laughs> yes. Alright, please get out of the way. Material Whatever. Deposited. We'll get that later. What that does is it gets us access to all these... Hello? It gets us access to all these sweet, sweet computers. Personal battery in there as well. That was nice. Anything else? No. Anything in here? Oh, jeez. Uh, you know what? How are we gonna remove this? Let's just take. I have a plan. I have a plan. Just say no to radiation chat. We'll use our last minute to get this. All right, Cutter. Wrap it up. You did you miss the reactor yank? You did. It was flawless. Ah! I, okay, that's generous. I'm going to give myself, out of a possible 100 points, a 95 for that reactor. You think that's fair, Twitch chat? Is that a 95? Still an A+. It was very good, but it wasn't perfect. is nothing, then there's no radioactive cloud. See? We're learning. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright, how are we doing back here, by the way? I think we're doing pretty good. It all buffed out? Yeah. So, I don't know if we can get this done in one shift, but... Definitely in two. Ooh, rank 18. Hey, what's up, I Amethyst? How you doing, friend? Thank you so much for seven months of support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. It's good money. That's good money. And productive day. I like how the corporation didn't sugarcoat it at all, and they're like, reminder, we own you. I'm like, what? Like, metaphorically? <laughs> like, ha, no, literally. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. 
Um, what? Sorry, what? What was getting yanked? Where? Oh, you were getting yanked. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you keep doing that. Okay, so we were inside doing stuff, right? Yes, 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 yes. We were inside and we were removing furniture. Ah! Like this computer terminal I missed. Hello? Why was that? Why? Why? That was disappointing. I had too much ow momentum just like that okay bad start we're gonna get our center we're gonna get calm again actually let's start okay there we go Patrick Lickman with the quarter year my goodness thank you so much for 25 months of support friend I really appreciate that Is there a penalty when you die? Yes, $150,000 is what it costs to uh, grow a new you out of a vat. Can you believe Loading Ready Run almost has 100 month subs? How is that possible? Does that even make sense to anyone? Time isn't real. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Pocket that poster. Make a Shinden, what's up? Oh my god, chat! That is an emerald beam. That is a major milestone. Holy moly. 36 months of support? If you got a heart, if you have access to any heart emote on chat, I'd love to see it right now to celebrate that milestone. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Alright, so I have to go outside if I want to get that. It should be here. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Thank you, chat, too, for that good, good heart spam. So I know I could get in way faster with the other laser, but could I get in as clean? The answer to that is no. You watch the latest Loading Ready Live, you're like, oh man, Penelope's already in high school? Like, how's that possible? I know, it freaks me out every time, too. Goodbye. Ow! Excuse me? Rude. It's okay, there's a repair kit right here. Oh, wrong kind of repair kit. Penelope's not in high school. <laughs> Sorry. I made a bad joke. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Ow. Bonk. <laughs> Alright, uh, that wall should have come loose now. Yes, it did. All right, and we do that. Uh, actually, let's get this. Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. Perfect. Okay, it was def... I think it was definitely worth it to cut that wall out, right? So we could do this without destroying any chairs. I think that was ultimately a time-saving measure. We've got the monitors up front. Secured. 
All right, how are we doing here? Oh, that's... I hope it's not pressurized. It shouldn't be. Scan before you cut. Oh, crap! It's pressurized! How did that happen? Oh. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Um, hold on to something, chat. It ripped the entire wall off? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that hurt. That hurt, and I got a little scared. And now I need to go get a Band-Aid. Did not enjoy that. So I believe this patches me up. Yeah, good as new. Good as new, chat! Nice Alright, I need to detach this. Okay, so that's still attached to something. So is that. So, if I head in, I bet you... Wait, right, wrong room. Perfect. Hold on. I see you. I see you. Gotta be apparently inside to make that work. Yeah, there we go. Is there anything else in here? Air quality thing. Those are always worth like a question. Okay. Let's try this again. So I am upside down and therefore turned around. We go into here. We ignore that. I believe there should be a load bearing piece of furniture that is attaching that floor. Oh, like 17 load bearing computers? Heck. No, 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 shh. Gentle, gentle. There, now the floor is loose. Okay, so that means I should be able to now gently take all of these computers and yeet them into the basket. Yeah, we're not getting this today, unfortunately. Because I'm realizing we have five minutes left, and I think this is still pressurized, too.
Oh my god, the power generator didn't actually end up in there. That's so funny. Got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We were out. So I just want to pull all these off and then probably depressurize it at the end. And the reason we're going in this order is um, I don't want anything to fly out and smash a computer. You know what I mean? Aren't you proud of me for scanning before I cut open that door, though? Fool me once in one stream, right? See? Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, God! What have I done? Fool me once in one stream. Your vital signs have been lost. Please reboot your monitor. So, uh, you might remember... You might remember we completely detached a wall. Well, it turns out when we, uh... Turns out when we let the pressure out, that whole wall blew off. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, did the whole thing launch? Wait, can I still get five stars or no? Oh, that's so close. Okay, uh, the whole front of the ship is just missing? Where did it even end up? Hey, what's up, Dark Morford? How you doing, bud? Wait, that's way up there. Okay, come to me. The whole front of the ship just launched away? Okay, I really gotta stop doing that, man. I really gotta stop doing that. Alright, so here's the new plan. Um, let's... I think I need to harvest literally all of this. Grapple damaged. Okay, you're fine. No, no, no. Five stars? Oh, five stars is actually done now. It wasn't previously. There was a chance. Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's just get out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to go cross pod. That's how we're going to get away from the, um, the gravity, right? One at a time, please. One at a time. We can still get four star, though. See? Valuable object process. Credits awarded. Oh, I can't believe we exploded at the end there. That was... We were doing so good on that gecko, chat. We were doing so good. So, I guess what I have to do... And... Because this is twice in the same stream we've been burned by the same thing. I need to I need to be more aware of when I'm depressuring things to not leave the cockpit to the very end. You know what I mean? Because turns out pressure when there's not a lot of weight behind it is actually really spooky. Right? Alright, but we hit four star. That's good. What is happening here? There we go. There's our four stars. One minute left, Cutter. Time to start wrapping things up. We wrap. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded.
Wait, where's the remainder of the ship? Where Where's the value that they're telling me is out there? This? That can't be. That can't be the thousands of extra dollar dues that they're saying are out there. Yeah, that's like $200. Get out of here. Object accepted for processing. Ah. Oh! Oh! Hey, chat! There's the rest of the ship! Oh, it got blasted away. Oh! <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, there's no point in going back for $800,000 dues. It costs us 600000 for the day anyways, right? Oh, man, I was really hoping we'd be... Uh, oh, we lost 8,000 points. So many, so many points. Pardon me. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. All right, let's start um, unlocking some more stuff for us. We did most of the laser cutters before. Let's, let's just repair everything real quick here. So what we're at, we're at the grapple. What is this? Max tethers 50. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we've got other things first. Um, yeah, let's upgrade our thruster here. Let's upgrade our brake. Yeah, it's good. How's the scanner doing? That's fine. Helmet O2 is good. What is the work suit again? Work suit is more hit points, so I don't die. You know? You know? Maybe I'll take one of these. And then demo charges we haven't really been using too much. All right, so what do I have? I have 3,000 points. Oh, I can't quite afford. It's 3,200 to double the amount of tethers we can carry. That's fine. That's fine. Surprised the serial number doesn't change every time you die? Yeah, that's fair. Is there an upgrade that makes me more durable? Yes, actually, Dalvin. That's exactly what this is. We have a certain amount of hit points, and that's how many hits your, your suit can take before you, you know, you die of violent decompression and stuff like that. So, you know what? Let's, let's take another one, just in case. There's no reason not to. All right, we can hear sounds in space a little bit better. Uh, but I think we actually have to call it here, friends. I have to do a little bit of a shorter stream today because at 4 p.m. tonight, I'm actually doing another stream over at twitch.tv slash alone ready run i'm going to be hosting play it forward and i'm going to be playing a game that i don't think is a good fit for this channel but should be a lot of fun on that channel it's called ghost runner it's a bang bang beep beep it's a shooter might have some profanity it has a banger of a soundtrack it's basically if mirror's edge was like a lot more shooty and it should be a lot of fun it's a short game it's only gonna be two streams the first stream is tonight from 4 p.m. and then tomorrow morning I'll be at part two. I can't remember if I'm at nine or ten tomorrow. Um, I'll have to check the schedule for that. So it should be super fun. So stop by and check that out. Hopefully you have a good time. Yeah. So right, no stream tomorrow. Two streams on the Learning Radio Run channel. Come and hang out. So friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the subs and the bits, and for uh, laughing around when Hubris got the better of me. I can't believe literally after I say fool me, you won't fool me again. I in fact got fooled again. That that feels bad. Nine o'clock on the schedule? That makes sense. Thank you, Dread Pirate Wesley. I appreciate that. All right. Y'all are the best. I really appreciate this. If you're new to the channel, consider following. I do this a whole bunch and I'd appreciate it. It's an easy peasy way to support folks. I'm really enjoying the game, Lily. It's like the perfect weekend chill activity. And if I'm not super tired from doing like eight hours on Lure, maybe we'll do a sneaky, uh, a sneaky bonus shipbreaker tomorrow night. We'll see. All right, uh, we're gonna read my friend Julie. 
Julie is streaming a super chill game called Chicory, A Colorful Tale. I tend to be very family friendly. Julie is wonderful, but will occasionally say bad words like butts. So just be just a heads up for that. Streams are always relaxing. No, thank you, Dalrin. I appreciate that. All right. The raid has started. Your mission is to just go spread some positivity. Go let somebody know that they're loved. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.